seen. And we'll get a report now. Anything lit about let's see. Yeah. Well, let's take a look. What are we going to talk about? And you notice that there's a, like a little shelf there that kind of feeds it the other way. Yeah, before it started yeah. going that uh -huh. way. Yeah. Actually, if you had started it well, like a little softer, it wouldn't have got that shelf. That's right. But I mean, you got you got to play it. I believe they were talking about the shot on 18 when he hit that two iron and just caught the ridge and went down to the right. Well, he's got 201 now, Gary, and it's not too bad a lie. Really? Not not too bad. He can he can run it up on the green. It's not going to be an easy <laughs> shot by any means, but he can run it up on the green from where he is. Last time he had about ooh, 184 yards, if I remember right, and ran one up beautifully in the back right portion of the screen, Peter, about pin high. One thing he doesn't want to do here is he doesn't want to miss this to the left-hand side. That's a short side, or that's where the pin is lurking, and anything over there is deep and dark and a tough chip. So if you bail it, bail it to the right, give yourself a chance. This is stroke play, three holes. He's hit the knockdown, but it's just not turning over. It's going to come out short right. Just on the down slope, it's going to be a really awkward stance. The ball is going to be well below his feet, and he's going to have about 40, 50 yards to this back left position. So I imagine Tiger is going to get very conservative here, David Faraday, and launch this thing somewhere right of this hole. Well, he hasn't got much room to start it right of the flag because of the overhanging tree in front of him. He's got exactly the same yardage as he had in regulation, 197. Exactly the same club, seven iron. Let's launch that high in the air. Beautifully, just get it up over the swell. Oh, that's just perfect. Go out and that just sketch that one right there where he wanted it. Right there where he wanted it. Steve's all happy, isn't he? He might have got a little more aggressive, but this was sudden death, but I doubt it with this ball of Bob Mays way back there in the rough on the down slope, 50 yards away. He's going to have to go front part of the green is a plateau. Then it sinks down into a trough that runs widthwise across this green and then up to another plateau. And you'll find the hole cut up there about 15 feet on top of that plateau. Shadows are getting longer now, and that really does not help your depth perception. Extraordinary, extraordinary back nine here where this golf course was getting most of the players. And these guys, both of them go out and shoot 31. Unbelievable finish. Tiger making that eight footer. He went up and shook Bob May's hand. He says, nice putt. He says, that was a good one. I could read his lips there in the 18th hole. Bob two putts it, but makes it from the fringe down the hill. And that applause is for both of the players. David and Goliath. Peter Costas, you had a chance to look at that lie down there? Yeah, it's about what you'd expect. It's not great. It's not horrible. Um, I can tell you right now, Bob May's a fan of the three-hole aggregate system. Yes. <laughs> He's going to have to land this... Uh, and run it through the swale somehow, Gary, and just hope he gets his club head speed right because he's got no chance of flying it to the back level and holding it. Now, this would be interesting. This would be the first time all day if he did bogey this hole and Tiger gets the lead that Bob would be chasing Tiger. It's amazing how noisy it is and then how quiet it is. Third shot, par four. He's got some pretty good speed on it right here. He's got some really good speed on it. How about this shot? How about this ball? Tiger just looked over at him and said, great shot.
I'll tell you, where these guys are going, we can be here till Thursday. Tiger will always acknowledge, always acknowledge his playing partners, good shots, always. That's just beautiful. The fantasy is continuing. Hey Gary, remember the movie Terminator where the cop get, gets yes. shots and comes back all the time? That was a cyborg. There you go. I think Bob May thinks he's playing a cyborg, but right now Bob May won't go away. This is just beautiful. This would be a great shot on Sunday afternoon playing with your buddies. Look at this. You can't judge that shot that well. Not over three tiers, down a hole, out of the rough. A lot of people watching. David Faraday, has he got a putt here that's actually kind of straight and not a, a compound break? For once, yeah, it's a little uphill. It's going to be just a little right to left at the end, and it's eminently holdable, and it certainly wouldn't surprise me the way things are going here. Well, Tiger's got to think that Bob May has got this aura now going that he just, he's not going to be denied. And he's just chipping away, chipping away, and he can't quite seem to get there. This is a stroke play, three-hole format. You add up the scores for three holes, 16, 17, and 18. One with the least amount of strokes over those three holes, he wins. If they're tied, they go back to 13. First hole of the playoff, Tiger Woods for his birdie. Oh, he's running after it. He ran after it. He got there before the ball did. I don't believe it. How about that? I've never seen him do that. High five and people are screaming. He's finally got the lead. Bob May won't go away. Tiger Woods trying to take over. What a putt. What an up and down by Bob May. Now watch this. The fun thing is to watch it. Okay, Tiger's going to pretty good. Now watch him your picture. Watch what happens. He's running at that point. He's there. Look at that. That was a 35 footer. Here we go. Now watch it. Right there. I got it. I got it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. You know, he runs five or six miles a day, so he's in good shape. He can catch that ball. Gary, have you ever seen a reaction out of Tiger like that? No, never. I, he's into the game. And let's go now to Peter Osterhaus. Peter, it's all yours. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Unbelievable excitement over that back nine. You had a look at the Thoroughbred Village. Huge hospitality area alongside the 17th hole. People have gathered again as soon as they thought it might be a playoff. They've surrounded this hole. They gave the grounds crew an enormous cheer for redoing all the bunkers. And we'll have another look at 17. And we'll sum up just how difficult a drive this is. The drive that caught out Bob May, but he was able to recover last time around. Turns a little right to left, widens at 300 yards to about 30 yards wide. Well protected back left pin placement. Tiger, that nifty wedge from less than 100 yards for the tap in birdie first time. A bit of a steep climb up to the hill at 17 from the 16th green, so they'll take their time. But uh, Tiger ready. What an awesome putt. And what an awesome three shots. Just a little while ago. Monster drive, great pitch, great putt. Bogey second round. Hit the fairway earlier today for the first time this week. Well, that one's up the right and it's cutting. That's in trouble. He's going to run out of fairway down the right with his power. And he'll be lucky if it stays on the slope. It's a steep slope. Goes down behind trees. Woo! 
Peter, that could be very nasty. There's some trees down there and all sorts of nasty stuff. Uh, he will not have a look at the green, I doubt. Well, first glance from uh, behind the green. We can look down. He might be able to play a punch shot under trees over rough, but a very difficult shot to control. But he's got a one-shot lead. Now Bob May. This is, this is a driver and it's going left again, Peter. And he's plenty powerful enough, but it can't carry past the bunker. Wasn't a great hit, and it looks as if it might be underneath the lip. So plenty of drama at the tricky driving hole, number 17. of home before you get there. The Acura TL. The Comcast summer sale is almost over. Act now. We're still giving away 30 days free of Comcast digital cable and 30 days free of Comcast at-home internet service. Plus, installation is free. With Comcast digital cable, you can get over... Jim Nance, Ken Venturi, Peter Osterhaus, the entire CBS golf crew, David Faraday and Peter Costas out in the fairway right now as we welcome you back to this three-hole playoff to decide the 82nd PGA Championship. Tiger Woods and Bob May, Tiger up one. Tonight on CBS, 60 Minutes, followed by Touched by an Angel, and St. Maybe, the CBS Sunday movie. A couple of wayward tee shots over at 17. And it looked, uh, as you said, Usti, it first glance that perhaps there's a little avenue there for Tiger with that angle uh, to the flag stick that left pin oh yeah could, this could be depending on the lie he may be able to do something with it well we're gonna find out it looks as if he's gonna have to control the trajectory very carefully and David uh, has had a close look I'm sure I've just had a look, Peter. He's got, um, well, if he goes left of the trees in front of him, he's going to have to lay up. But there is a window to the right. <laughs> and uh, it's the riskier of the two options. The lie isn't too bad. It's kind of lying cross grain, though. We can see how this hillside has been trampled down. And the spectators along the rope line managed to get out of the way of the ball. It could well have been stopped at the top of the hill. But they got out of the way. The ball took its natural course down to the bottom of the slope. Meanwhile, Bob May looked as if he caught the sand, but it might be, is this better or worse, Peter? Actually, it's a whole lot better. It's not a great live, but uh, he can muscle it out. He's got 155 yards left, and he can get it on the right front portion of the green from the grass. If he had been in the bunker, I don't think he could have gotten it up. Heaved it on the green from 171. First time around today. And interestingly enough, Peter, he has not gone over to see what Tiger's situation is, even though this is... In some fashion or form, match play, he is playing himself in the golf course. Well, he's going to play the right shot. That's what you have to do. And he's going to try to recover to the right side of the green, just as he did previously. He's got a nine iron. He's going to try and just hack it out and get a low runner up there. Oh, he made great contact. If this is enough, it's going left, however. Sand all the way. And not much room. Downhill slope once he comes out of the sand. And just that ball above his feet causing it to hook just a fraction more than he expected. Well, Tiger took a quick look at his and just didn't even think about coming out left and short. It would leave a very difficult up and down. He's going to go through this window on the right, Peter. And even if he misses the green, as long as he doesn't hit any, any furniture on the way, he should be able to get it up and down from right. Steve Williams has paced it all the way up to the green. They've moved the crowd back. Difficult to control the trajectory out of this kind of lie, David, isn't it? It may come out very fast. He has to keep it down, otherwise he crashes into the tree, and then shooting out with no spin, it could run forever. And it's difficult chipping from over the green. We've seen all kinds of shots, lofted shots, bump and runs with the fairway wood, putter, and that's uh, a likely 
venue for Tiger's third shot if he shoots it out low. And this multiple hole playoff, <laughs> especially with a par five finishing hole, great drama. The Open Championship across the pond went to a multiple hole playoff a long time ago. Mark Kalkovecchia in the first one, 1989, won comfortably. They didn't have a lot of drama.